Hi guys! So today's video is going to be on what's in my clinical bag. This is the bag that I take to my clinicals, to the hospital, and I pack in here a lot of nifty fun things and important things. And so I'm going to show you guys what I carry to clinical every day. Well, every day that I have clinical. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. So first of all, this bag that I have, my clinical bag, is from Janu Scrubs. And if you haven't seen my Janu Scrubs review video, I will leave that down below just so you can check out. I go in more into detail about what Janu Scrubs are all about and what this bag is all about. So it's just this cute little bag. It's a little clutch. And I, what I love about this bag is it's tiny. It's not a huge backpack. It's not a big lumpy purse. And it's just compact so I can fit everything I need in just a small, little bag. So I'm going to start by what's on the outside pockets of my bag. So on this side, I start off with, I always bring a snack to clinical. It doesn't matter if I'm at clinical for only eight hours. If I'm at clinical for 12 hours, I always bring a snack or two. So this is just a Kashi like granola bar. And so I always bring a snack because you never know. Sometimes you might not be able to take lunch when you need to. And so it's good to have something to munch on in case you're stomach is growling. The next thing I have are some little peppermints. I always carry some mints or some gum around just because you know coffee breath in the morning and I actually personally don't drink coffee but sometimes I'll drink chai tea and you know same thing so just I like to have mints, they're nice and fresh, and I keep them in my clinical bag. On the other side, I have, as you can see, a bunch of pens. I always try to carry around a bunch of pens because it seems like no matter how many you bring, by the end of your clinical shift, you will have zero. So bring a lot of pens, and right now I only have three in here, but usually I have about three or four that I bring with me. And then next to it, I have a Carmex. I just always have chapstick with me wherever I go. My lips always feel chapped, and so I just keep a Carmex in my clinical bag. The next thing that's in this pocket is just my ID badge. And I put this on before clinical, but I keep it in my clinical bag so that way, I, in case I'm running out the door, I don't ever forget it. So it's just my badge that I wear, you know, to clinical, but I keep it in my clinical bag so I don't forget it. Next, I'm going to open up my clinical bag and show you guys what's inside of it. So the first thing in my clinical bag that's right on top is my stethoscope. And again, just like my ID badge, I usually wear this for clinical, but you know, sometimes it's really annoying to wear all day long around your neck. So what I like about my clinical bag is it my stethoscope can kind of fold up and just fit right in there, you know, after I do my assessments and if I, there's nothing urgent going on and I don't need to wear it around my neck, I'll either put it in my clinical bag or I stick it in my scrubs pocket. So I always have my stethoscope in my clinical bag. The next thing in my bag are my car keys. Again, so in case I'm running out the door, I know my car keys are in my bag. I also keep my nursing watch in my clinical bag. And just like my badge and stethoscope, I put this on at the beginning of my shift, but I keep in my bag just in case so I don't forget anything. The next thing that I keep in my bag is this little um, hand sanitizer. And I don't know where I got this. I mean, you can get them at the dollar store or Walmart or wherever. But I keep this in my clinical bag just because even though there's so much hand sanitizer in the hospital and you're constantly putting it on, you know, if you're going to lunch and you just want to, you know, put a little extra on just to be safe or, you know, after your clinical shift, your hands always feel gross. So even though it's like all around the hospital everywhere. I always have a little one myself just to keep in my bag, you know, in case after clinical I'm going to the store or something and want to just reapply just in case. The next thing in my bag is um, this little lotion bottle and this is a Bath and Body Works lotion and it is scented so I try not to use this during my clinical shift. I may put it on at lunch or put it on after my clinical shift um, because your hands get so dry from washing them and using the hand sanitizer and so I usually will put this on you know, during lunch or after my shift, just because since it's scented and a lot of patients can have reactions to certain things, just to be on the safe side, I don't want to cause them to have a reaction to my lotion. So um, I need to find an unscented lotion that's in a little bottle like this, but I have this one in my bag just in case. The next thing I keep in my bag are some little ponytails. Um, since my hair's short, most of the time I can just wear it down because it's not going to be like in the way um, of my patients. But if for some reason it is, I always keep little ponytails in my bag just so that way I can put my hair back. It's not in the way um, if I need to put it back. The next thing I have in my clinical bag is my cell phone. And so I always keep my cell phone on me, I think, every 
person in this day and age has a cell phone and keeps it on them at all times. So I keep this in my clinical bag. I try not to keep it in my pocket of my scrubs just because you know you never know whose hands it's going to get into. You don't want it to get into a patient's hands and then they have access to all your information and that can be a big issue. So I try to keep my phone in my clinical bag. The next thing I have is just some paper. I just it's printer paper I just fold it up I usually don't have like a little notebook or anything I just have plain paper in case I need to write down notes or especially you know when you go to clinical you usually have like assignments like care plans and stuff you have to do so I like to write down my information on here of course following the rules of HIPAA and not writing down any patient information that you can't take outside of the hospital with you. If I have an assignment and there's like directions that I can print off, I also will put those in my clinical bag as well. But I usually have some paper just in case I need to write something down. Or maybe I learned something and I wanna share it with my other nursing peers afterwards. And so I'll write down those things as well. The last thing in my clinical bag is my license and my credit card. So I keep my license in there. I keep my credit card in there because when I'm driving and two, sometimes I like to eat lunch at the hospital depending on you know if I packed a lunch or not so it's always good to keep either some cash on you or a card on you for lunch or just in case of an emergency so I keep my license and my credit card in my bag all right guys so that's what's in my clinical bag I hope you guys enjoyed this video as you can see by the title this is a collaboration with nurse Mercer's channel and he is doing a video on what's in his clinical bag so if you want to get a guy's perspective on what he carries to clinical. I will have the link for his channel down below so you can go and watch his video on what's in his clinical bag. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hey guys, it's Nurse Merce. I hope you liked Ashley Adkins' video as much as I did. Um, if you did, make sure to subscribe and leave her a comment in the comment section below. And if you like this kind of video, you might want to see what's in my nursing bag. Um, the, my video is more like the male's perspective of how to prepare for clinicals and what to pack in your clinical bag or MERS purse as I like to call it so make sure you come out and check out my channel and like I said subscribe to Ashley Atkins she's always putting out great videos great content and she's just a super cool girl so anyway I'm Nurse Merce I'll catch you on my channel talk to you soon